Such a small ring is the key to Armageddon. Master. Will the cauldron remain asleep? Perhaps, perhaps the prophecy could be mistaken. You must never give the ring of Titrell to anyone with a lust for power. Hey, here she is! What? Indeed, this saves us the trouble of having to go underground. W what do you want? Ah! Wait, listen. King Valentine has ordered us to come here. My grandfather? Princess, the king is furious. <laughs> the customary punishment for disobeying the king is hanging or crucifixion. Quiet. You have nothing to worry about. The king is a kind man. He said if you'll return the ring, he'll love you again. Princess Velvet. I will not let him have it. Killing her isn't an option. Just steal the ring. Like candy from a babe. There are too many of them! Run away! Quiet, old man! Master! No! Worry not about me. Hide the ring where no one will find it. Don't let her escape! I feel bad for old rabbit guy who's like, oh, I'm dying. Welcome back. Yeah, look, a little pepper. What's up, pepper? What are you doing in the snow like that? I mean, I know you have to be a bit more bountiful because we're toward, you know, a later story where it's more common to make different recipes. But come on. You're out of your element, man. Oh, we're done. Hooray! We did it. Alright, let's see. To get to Wagner, we probably have to go up. Why would I say that? It's because we're on a mountain. <laughs> Sorry, it's a new recording session, so I'm probably not going to be as cool as I was yesterday when I recorded half of this story arc and all of Oswald's. But hey, what's she gonna do? I was thinking about finishing all this in one day, then I realized, oh yeah, maybe my commentary will eventually start falling apart. I never ended up doing it. That's because I know how to pace myself. Then you kind of have to pace yourself on a game like this where it's like, you'll run out of shit to talk about. Pretty easily. Uh, what I run out, run out of stuff to talk about because it's not the best game to show in video. Um, in a way. But a lot of it comes from let's playing this game three times, technically. And it's more, more that, you know, I'd end up ripping commentary unintentionally from the last LP I did of it. So, that ends up happening. Flame Road. Form powerful flames ahead on the ground. Uh, I need 40 fazuns for that. Uh, show me this, show me this move. Um, I don't know if you know this, guys, but, uh, that's a good move. <laughs> Unregistered for up. Hmm. Should I use it on up? I guess. Wait, did I? No, I just gave flare shot twice. One flame road. Flame road's really good. Because my problem with a lot of these AOEs is that there's not enough room, so I have to do a little bit of finesse to get to fit where I want. But with that, don't gotta worry about it. Uh, 
We're in danger of ice, but I kind of want to save my money. Save my money on food. What I will do is I will buy the map. Because we're early enough in here for that. Alright. To get to Wagner, we have to get uh, there. So from the boss, we go left, then down, then down into that rest, and then down here. And then we would somehow spider our way down, down there, and then right, and then right. And then... So to get there, we go left, 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 up, up left, up right, right, right. There's absolutely nothing stopping me from getting to it easily. That is inspiring. Luckily, I'm doing all of the areas as I play it, so I don't don't have to worry about missing anything to keep myself uh, well leveled. Oh no, it's a battle! Oh no, it's a, it's a Mandragore. He's caught up in all this fighting. Man, did, did Flame Robe really need 24? Fuck. Like, it only just occurred to me how insane that is, expense wise. Then again, it's a really good move. I'll use it on the next group of enemies I can, you know, I can deal with. Clearly, I'm not going to do it on this map, though, because, you know, got to get some value out of this shit. I can make grapes and cheese with all the stuff I picked up. Snowman. They've secretly got nice little berries inside their snowman. Hmm. We could go down here and get this bag. I mean, I'm full up on inventory space, so I should probably do it anyway. Not gonna lie, this feels pretty good. I need a little bit more Fozons to do the, uh, the vertical line attack. So if they could come to me, I would... I'd appreciate it. Nope, no other Fozons exist down here right now. I guess I'll have to kill them the old-fashioned way, then. Or actually, I could just do two regular fires. I kind of wanted to do the vertical line because I know it stays there for a while. And, uh... Like, I kind of just wanted to... Just have it and have it just stick around. Constantly apply AoE damage. Let's see... So then we go left, and then we can get treasure if we go over to the uh, left side here. And it's in this secret cave. Told she's soup. I don't know, any, any soup that is made with yogurt as your base liquid. I mean, eventually you would melt down the cheese and probably have turnip chunks in it. That sounds actually really bad. Like, here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna make a soup. Uh, what are we gonna do for the liquid? Uh, we're gonna mix yogurt and cheese. And, uh, we're gonna do that. That sounds great, doesn't it? And then we're gonna put turnips in it. That sounds fucking disgusting. It's like, I, it, I'm i almost speechless because I disgusted myself over it. 
All right, this might be hard because not a lot of ways to hit you easily. Hmm. I guess that means I gotta look at what potions I have. Hmm. Cyclone and fire spirits. Yes, burn! Burn! This is what you get for being a hard to hit easily type of enemy. You gotta constantly keep jumping at your horn. Or landing on the platform. Hmm, what is the pillar? It's fucking 17. Oh my lord. Here, I thought it was a l it wasn't that much. I say that, then I get a crit, and it's like, oh, okay, you win. You see, this is how this works. In real life and everywhere else, if you complain about something, it, it's, you know, somehow magically starts working out for you. I think I remember, like, back when Overwatch came out, the game that has stolen my life and ruined all my live streams. Uh, I was... When that came out, finally, you know... Do the full version, not a beta version. Super excited, obviously. Servers didn't immediately work. And then it's like, ah, oh, it's okay. It's okay. First time we got a legitimate complaint in my group. And it's like, oh man, it's not working. It works. It's like, that's all it takes, man. Just, if you complain about something, it works. That's also been a good way of meeting me back when I played Final Fantasy XIV. Which I, you know, do off and on whenever there's new content for that MMO. Whenever you complain about something. Maybe on Twitter or somewhere else, magically works. And that, it's queuing to do dungeons as a uh, DPS class. If you don't know MMO stuff, uh, DPS is basically your damage dealers in a party. And uh, damage dealers are always the coolest class and the uh, most used class in existence. So they are constantly queuing for these... These raids, these dungeons, and all this other stuff. Which means that they are constantly the ones that have to wait the longest. Because you have to wait for a tank to be able to uh, pull the attention of the enemies while the DPS does their thing. And healers to, you know, make sure no one fucking dies. And pe less people play those. That's just a, just a fact of life. And uh, I've noticed that whenever I complain on Twitter... About, you know, man, these wait times fucking suck. It goes ping, and it's like, we're ready. We, we, we found the people. Uh, you could, like, I'm never gonna, like, queue for something and say it's taking too long, like, ten seconds in. Because then it wouldn't work. Because really, the, you only get it. It only works when it's, when you waited long enough to be irritated. And I say that for a normal person. You cannot advance due to the blizzard. Hey, I'm making it. Ah, oh, fuck off! That's bad design! How dare you force me? I earned this. I, I need to I need to know. I need to we're googling this. You cannot advance due to the blizzard Odin sphere. Er, uh, hold on. Wasn't there, like, a sandstorm in the last one? Hmm. Ah, I see. I see. Okay. So, turns out, the, re the way to get through these areas that are like that, um, you need to, uh, buy a piece of equipment. Or, you need to go pick it up. Uh, we need the iron boots. 
Isn't this kind of like the most Zelda fucking thing too? I think it is, kinda. Seems no place carries it. Seems like no area like gives it to me as a reward, so I guess uh talk to this guy, maybe he sells it. Wow. Yeah, he sells it. Stone boots. I already had stone boots. Fuck my ass. Uh, that's why. That's why I thought I saw them earlier. I already got them. As you can see, we are quite limited in how we can uh, move, thanks to these things. I guess this means we could go back and see whatever uh, prize was in the other area, too. Alright, we got a trial. It is two of these ghosts at the exact same time. Yeah, let's go ahead and uh, remove those. Equip Adversity Ring. And uh, we're going to throw some sort of potion at them. Well, we were, but then I realized I have nothing. Hmm. I have to have something damaging to these damn things. Hmm. Fuck it. Make this for later. Might as well make a painkiller. Uh, yeah, we're just gonna go at it then. Yes! Burn to the ground! Nice, getting double stunned. Alright, they're gonna start doing moves now. No, you can't stop this train. And that's your trial done. Alright, I'm gonna clear the rest of this area. Especially because my dogs are now going to not shut the fuck up for the rest of eternity. And once I'm done clearing this place out, we'll take on the boss. Also... We picked up a new skill, Burning Curse. Burning Curse is a skill that confers a curse to all foes so they explode if they fall to the ground. That sounds cool. I'll probably never... It's way too expensive to use, personally, but... You know, we might use it one day. As you can see, his soul is with the stars. Why are you here, Jewel Handler? If I dislike your answer, you shall not leave this mountain. I have been waiting for you. I have been waiting to meet Hindle's friend. My name is Wagner. Who are you? I must know or I will not help you. I am Princess Velvet of Valentine. You are related to the one who created the cauldron that destroys souls. And that jeweled chain. Hindle last told me. A shadow knight from the fairy kingdom would soon come to take his life. He knew it all. But he died following his destiny. He mentioned you then. He died from that jewel. Don't casually dismiss his death. Do you think of us as mere lizards, incapable of shedding tears? 
You don't seem to understand that my friend's death pains me terribly. It pierces my heart, you witch of Valentine. I could crush your bones and drink your blood, but it would bring me no peace. I curse the misfortune of meeting you here. Wagner, please wait! You know, these fights with Wagner are getting more and more pointless with each conversation. <laughs> Fucking... Let's beat him up and get him to... And then give him his food. It's the only just thing to do, I guess. <laughs> Ah, oh, nice. He got a good hit in there. I'm actually quite impressed. I mean, man, how could you ever, like, land a powerful strike like that? Oh, no, he's about to start flying. I guess I'll have to hit him in the air, then. <laughs> I'm such fucking trash. I'm so strong. <laughs> but whatever, I don't care. I've beaten this... I've beaten Wagner like fucking three other fucking times. What does it matter anymore? I'm dying inside. Don't be arrogant, girl. Allow me to show you what a true dragon is capable of. You can take my life, but please, hear what I have to say first. I do not care if you beg. I have stopped the cauldron to prevent a great disaster. Hindle told me to come here. Eh? What did you say? You stopped the cauldron that creates the jewels like the ones you use? No one can command the cauldron now. Save for the one wearing this ring, Titrell. This ring is the only thing that can reactivate the cauldron. If you speak the truth, then that means that no more jewels can be created. The Demon Lord and the goblins are all searching for this ring. Please lend me your aid. I come here to hide this ring where nobody will be able to find it. Are you saying that the Valentine royal family wishes to dig its own grave? I never thought I'd hear that. But there is nowhere that is truly unreachable to all. Wherever the ring is buried, the dwarves will eventually dig it up, given time. Then what do you suggest? Let me take the ring. I am Wagner, ruler of the sky. Not even the beast of Armageddon can reach me above the clouds. And I am safe from Odin. Why is that? We made a deal long ago. In reward for his valor, I gave him my blood. The source of his mighty power is the dragon's blood running through his veins. As a result, Odin's powers cannot harm me. Now, give me that ring. Please be careful. This ring is sought by more than just kings. Tis my responsibility. Thank you, Wagner. If Odin is hunting you, I would advise you to stay away from this mountain. I often see the Demon Lord's Valkyrie in the area. I cannot hide from him. This situation must come to an end eventually. I may be Valentinian royalty, but... I am Odin's daughter. What? That's scandalous! It has been predicted. I will be captured by the Aesir. As the thief who ruined their chances of victory. <laughs> 